Hi, my name is Javadin, and I'll be the voice behind this video extract for the paper Bell Engineered 3D Co Culture of Cancer Cells and Endothelial Cells, a model system for dual analysis of tumor growth and angiogenesis. Our group focused on the mechanisms of tumor metastasis, and one of the important steps to metastasis is angiogenesis, or the process of new blood vessels formation. The new blood vessels provide nutrients and oxygen to support tumor growth and they also serve as major routes for tumor cells to spread to other organs. Therefore, understanding the mechanisms which support angiogenesis would aid in the development of new therapeutics to prevent tumor growth and metastasis. In most angiogenesis assays, endothelial cells are used without tumor cells. Therapeutic drugs discovered and screened from these assays are not always effective in cancer as these assays are not representative of tumor angiogenesis. Therefore, we aim to develop a 3D co-culture system to study tumor angiogenesis and for discovering of drugs which are truly effective in the treatment of cancer. We develop a method to form uniform and highly reproducible 3D spheroids. First, we coat a layer of pyronic F127 in 96 well round bottom plates. Pyronic is a non-ionic surfactant that is non-toxic to the cell and lowers unspecific cell and protein adhesion to the plate. The cells are then mixed and resuspended before addition to the plate. They will then come together and assemble into compact spheroids within a day. The 3D spheroid is a more representative model for drug screening. A necrotic and hypoxic core is established within the model due to limited oxygen and nutrient penetration. This encourages vascular network establishment as proangiogenic factors are secreted by tumor cells. Furthermore, in a 3D environment, a gradient penetration of drugs is achieved, therefore allowing us to utilize the model as a screening platform. We compared our 3D co-culture spheroid with a xenograft tumor in the mouse model and found that there were similarities in terms of their vascular structures, cell-cell interactions, and protein expressions. This is a video showing the vascular networks within the liver cancer and endothelial cell co-culture model. You can see that the endothelial cells differentiate in a chaotic and unorderly manner. In addition to the co-culture spheroid, we utilize a FRAP-based sensor for monitoring apoptosis or programmed cell death. This sensor consists of a cyan fluorescence protein, CFP, fused to a yellow fluorescence protein, YFP, with a specialized linker containing the caspase 3 cleavage sequence, DEDD. Due to the close proximity of CFP and YFP, energy is transferred from the donor to the acceptor when the FRAT sensor is excited. The resulting emission wavelength of 535 nanometer then leads to the appearance of green cells under normal conditions. However, when cells are undergoing apoptosis, caspase 3 is activated and cleaves the DVD linker. The energy transfer or FRAT effect is abolished and apoptotic cells will appear as blue as CFP emits a wavelength of 480 nanometer. On the right side, you can see cells appear green under normal conditions. However, they will turn blue as they undergo apoptosis after exposure to UV irradiation. By utilizing the FRAT sensor with the 3D co-culture, we are able to use it as a platform for screening of angiogenesis inhibitors and anti-tumor drugs. Here, three clinically approved drugs were tested for their effects in our steroids. You can see that the networks are suppressed by the inhibitors, and only sunitinib and acetinib display blue apoptotic cells. The mechanisms of action can be determined easily, such as whether the drugs are preventing networks formation like those of sorafenib, or killing the endothelial cells similar to those of sunitinib and acetinib. Also, the effects of the drugs on tumor cells can be observed, whether the drugs cure tumor cells directly, 
or suppress their growth. Both anti-angiogenic effect and anti-tumor properties can be determined within a single assay. Furthermore, the effective drug concentrations determined through the model are similar to clinical plasma concentration used. So, here are some relevant publications related to our paper. We have the 2D co-culture that was established before the 3D model and shows the interplay between liver cancer cells and endothelial cells. And also, if you are interested in the FRAT sensor for apoptosis, you can take a look at this paper on the right. We have reached the end of the video abstract. So, I am Geraldine, and these are my two co authors, Reina and Samik Shah, and also the PI for the project, Prof. Serin Lim and Prof. Kathy Luo. And thank you to you, the audience, who have watched our video abstract. Please also read our paper, and if you have any questions or feedback, you may email us at klaw at umac.mo. Thank you.